purse or your pockets. Do you happen to see the newest quarter coming out this month? It's recognizing Pate Takemoto Mink. She is part of the celebration for Women's History Month. And here to share more about this amazing new quarter is celebrity historian Rafi Andonian. Rafi. Welcome back to Studio STO. Of course. Thank you for having me. For I know. Wonderful quarters program still going on for And years. we love this program. <laughs> I mean, it really does teach so many people about little nuggets of American history. Let's talk about who's on the quarter this month as part of the American Quarter. Perfect program. for Women's History Month. Perfect. It's Patsy Takamoto Mink, as you mentioned. And what's fascinating about her is, of course, she was the first woman of color to be in the United States Congress. Wow. She also later went on to become the first Asian American to run for president as an official presidential candidate. But her story begins earlier than that, and it's really fascinating as a child, because in high school, she was valedictorian. She was also class president at some point. She goes on to college in Pennsylvania and Nebraska, but transferred repeatedly because of the fact that there was segregated facilities. She wasn't mm. happy about that. Wow. Goes back home to Hawaii, finishes the University of Hawaii, and makes their major to be pre-med in zoology and chemistry. And the reason she did that in part was because she dealt with a medical condition mm -hmm. herself. Well, here's why this matters to the story of a bigger picture of her journey that unfolded. Because after that, and, and by the way, while she was in college, she was a standout student also, for example, being on the varsity debate team and also being president of the, the pre-med students club. So an accomplished person. So then when she goes then tries to apply to medical school, she gets rejected several wow. times. And that doesn't sit well with her. So she goes to law school instead, University of Chicago, not Ooh. far from us. Yep. And so when she goes to law school, she ends up getting married. And then together they move back to Hawaii. And now she has, she has her bar. She passes the bar at Hawaii, but guess what? She's in an interracial uh, marriage, and as a result, she doesn't get to, uh, jobs, legal jobs, despite wow. passing the bar. So consistently is encountering discrimination, right? Mm -hmm. So eventually she ends up, uh, well, early on in her career, she ends up uh, uh, joining the territorial legislator of Hawaii. And when Hawaii becomes a state in 1959, not terribly long ago, soon thereafter, she ends up joining the U.S. House of Representatives. And that gives you an idea of her journey, and it's going to affect what she wanted to do in the House. Now, to give you an idea of how high she actually climbed, she ended up being eventually appointed by President Jimmy Carter as the Assistant Secretary of State of Oceans and wow. International <laughs> Environmental and Scientific Affairs. How do you like that title? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love those apples. I mean, it really does show just how much she contributed to our country as a woman. And really, not only did she do that, she contributed to Title IX legislation. Exactly. So, so let's let's take that Title IX and mm -hmm. let's look a, take a look at closer at her quarter, okay. which we have right here. Hers is in the upper right, and you can see that what the, if you look at the image up close, it refers to Title IX. It says equal opportunity in education, and why? Think about her experience. She dealt with uh, um, discrimination in education consistently based on her gender. So, what did Title IX do? It tried to go for equal opportunity in educational in, in colleges, especially also high schools, for equal opportunity in coursework and of course sports and think about today I think like for example college women's basketball has more star power than college men's basketball yeah. Caitlin Clark <laughs> is tearing it up Angel Reese is tearing yep. it up and that's the result of Title IX legislation that she sponsored because of those experiences that we described earlier so weaves the story together to give you an idea now she is of course part of several women and uh, we, I know we've covered quarters here in the past and if you just look in your pocket you're gonna find her quarter circulating among others. This is part of a four-year program that is going on by United States Mint, honoring 20 women overall. She's the 12th quarter coming out, like we said, just in time for Women's History Month this month. And I love that because it makes history accessible. Yes. It's in your pocket. Yes. And remember, pe people have had, countries have put people on quarters or, or coins for thousands of years. And I think currency or money is when nations honor their heroes mm. and that's what it means to put these women on the same platform or George as George Washington on the head side of George Washington and these women on the tail side but of course coming out in a series one at a time Patsy Mink being the most recent one that is um, amazing like I just went down her rabbit hole this morning <laughs> I learned a thing or two about Patsy this morning and it just is so cool to be able to see women like her on quarters, kind of standing the test of time, like you said, forever. I agree. I agree. And speaking of forever and going down a rabbit hole, 
You can actually look up the women's National Women's Hall of Fame online. It's womenofthehall.org, and you will find her as an entry, as a, as a, you know, someone inductee in there. So you can learn more and in there forever. She's also honored in a National Women's History Museum, and she also received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. But my favorite is the fact that Title IX legislation, later, years later, because of her role in it, was renamed after her. So Title IX technically wow. is actually legislation named after her. Now it was renamed afterwards in honor of her. So that gives you an idea of leaving a mark on history on those multiple ways and, of course, now circulating in your pocket, but affecting us every day with Title IX over 50 years, still impacting us today. That is absolutely incredible, and I think the perfect way to celebrate Women's History Month. Rafi, thank you so much for coming in and sharing in a little bit about this uh, just amazing woman right here. She served our country in so many different ways. And St. Louis, just look for that quarter next time you see it. Look for that lay. Look for Miss Mink. She definitely has left her mark on history. And Rafi, thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you all. St. Louis, if you're at home, you're watching, you're interested in learning more from the celebrity historian, you absolutely can. All you have to do is visit him online at celebrityhistorian.com. You can also follow him on Instagram and on YouTube. Give him a follow, show him some love. You definitely want to check out on history, not only happening right here in our community, but all across the globe.